as a trainer, I'm always diagnosing what it is I do or what I see or what I feel that makes me successful in my shooting so that I can translate that for a student. One of the things I figured out over time was that when I hold a pistol in my hand, the grip pressure is front to rear. Well, this is Smith & Wesson's Shield 9EZ, and it kind of helps me do that because it has a grip safety on the rear. And it's not the only pistol that has a grip safety. But when I grip that pistol high in the back strap and I'm tight to the trigger guard, the pressure is between here and here. This thumb really doesn't do anything. What it does is it manipulates a manual safety or just hangs out of the way when I shoot. I'm gonna show you one-handed and two-handed grips for shooting. One-handed grip, high in the back strap, pinched front to rear, trigger finger's not really tight, I've got good control. Two-hand, boom, just falls right in. I can still manipulate the safety. When I come off, I can flick the safety back on. Let's do this live fire. I'm gonna prep up a magazine. If I hold the gun one-handed, watch where my thumb is, and you tell me if it does anything to maintain my grip. The thumb really doesn't do anything. I put two hands on the gun, This thumb really doesn't do much. What it does do though, is if you wrap it down too tight and you don't have good front to rear pressure, it makes that trigger finger a little less manageable. So when you go to the range, try taking the thumb out of the equation and see if it doesn't help. Yeah. 